All right, guys, we are back. I'm so excited for this episode. There is so much going on in the ending of that last episode. The polls were just crazy. Uh, before that, do you want to make your Master Duel experience a whole lot better? Are you ready to take your Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel play experience to a new level? The Untapped GG Companion is here for you. Use the deck tracker to know exactly what cards you have in your deck and to go over any cards you aren't familiar with yet by hovering over them. It instantly updates when you draw a card and automatically hides if you check your extra deck or graveyard. This is the perfect tool to help you master a new deck. The Untapped GG Companion also lets you import decks directly into the game in seconds. Copy any YDK or YDKE deck string, create a new deck in game, click the Start Auto Import button, and let us take the wheel. Once the duel is over, check your win rate on your personal stats page. Brag among your friends and share your decks so they can import them into the game too. Start your path to master today by downloading the Untapped GG Companion at ygom.untapped.gg. All right, guys, we're back. That poll was crazy. We got Cubic Ascension. I, I I never thought I would ever care about Cubics as much as I do, but this card searches my boy, Vijam, the Cubic Seed. Not only does it search it, it special summons him from deck. He's been the absolute MVP. He is my boy. I love him. He's the greatest. And not only that, but if our life, life points are 2,000 higher if our opponent's life points are 2,000 higher than yours, we can banish this trap card out of the graveyard and special summon the Vidjom from the hand, deck, or graveyard. So essentially, we can search him once, uh, not only search him, but summon him from the deck once, and then a second time again if they somehow out him. So they have to out him twice. And he is my absolute boy. I love this dude. He is insane. I don't even know how they... I, I, I never knew about this guy. Now I have him in my deck, and he's he's, he's disgusting. Uh, but we made a few changes to the deck. We play like the Primal Dragon. Uh, this guy I pulled last time, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to play him. Totally forgot. Uh, and then there's a few other changes. You can look and compare to what we had last time, but the ending pulls were pretty crazy. Let's get to a duel. All right, so here we actually lost a coin flip, but the guy chose for us to go first. Our deck is now a lot more versatile, so we can actually go first, which is, which is nice. Um... This is an interesting hand for sure. He's like, I don't know, maybe he's got a maxi. Hopefully he triggers it out of nowhere for no reason. Uh, we've got Light Imprisoning. Not bad. We have the Cubic Ascension. Already a great start. And then, of course, we've got some of these other cards. Honestly, this dude's kind of crazy. Like, this guy's got 2,000 defense and 2,000 attack, which is pretty good. And then he can gain attack. And if he's tributed, you can target a card or... Um, you control it can make a second attack which is pretty good so if we tribute him for any of our like he could if we tribute him for any of our tribute monsters which we do have a lot of we can make two attacks like such a cool card and then if this guy gets right gekied um he can float so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and go with him the light imprisoning and the cubic ascension because cubic ascension even if it get, gets popped it has a graveyard effect and it's a trap card so it'll trigger on our opponent's turn regardless um and the graveyard effect, of course. We can trigger it any time as long as we have lower life points. But yeah, those pulls were insane. Our deck is like really, really, really coming together. It's actually quite nice. Um, faster than I would have thought for sure. I mean, it, it looks like almost a playable deck. We just need to get, you know, a couple more floodgates. I, that's perfectly fine. We we prepared for this. Spells, traps, monsters, I don't care. Um, do I want to chain this? Uh, no, I don't, I don't need a chain. They're gone anyway. Wow. All right, so he did that. By the way, he chose for us to go, uh, he chose for us to go second. So he chose for us to go first. So that's interesting. So another interesting, I don't know what he's playing, but it could be, uh, since he chose for us to go first, it could be that deck, the, uh, with the girls that are zero attack, that cubic monster is actually really good against that deck because if we summon the Vijam, uh, he's zero defense, zero attack, and usually any damage taken is taken by us. But if we summon him, they just can't like get around him. Um, so right now, this your opponent takes no battle damage from this card. So we're just going to summon the Alvis, and we're going to summon the Sand Moth, and we're just going to attack. Um, that's good enough for me. And what's cool is if we we're going to set Dimension Slice. Do we set Dimensions? Because I don't want him to just lose it randomly for no reason. It's not really doing anything, but like Vidjom can trigger the Dimension Slice later on, but we don't have the life points to trigger it. I mean, do we set it just for the future? Just in case he lowers our life point. I would say we probably set it. We just pass our turn here. 
Like I said, he chose for us to go second, which is which is shocking that he did that. And then just, just ended up doing absolutely nothing with his turn, but it's it's fine. It's fine. We'll see. We'll see. We still don't know what he's playing. This is the problem with our deck. We can't just like quickly OTK. We can't just, oh great, our opponent break. Let's let's wrap this up. Like we have to go through it. One thing that our deck definitely 100 percent needs is better extra deck stuff. Because our extra deck, what is going on here? Sangan can search anything. Or I don't know what our opponent's playing. I'm just in sh disbelief. I don't know what's going on. This is another card I was actually I should have cut, but like it's it's a good card, but it's just Sometimes we don't have enough warriors, but when we do have a warrior, it goes off pretty well. Like, when we don't have a warrior, this card just does nothing. Yeah, he's going to take no battle damage, but he can search anything. Um, yeah, this card, when when, a, when we do have a warrior, it's a removal and it's a draw. Like, it it, it, it's, it replaces itself by popping a card um, and then drawing, which is it's a really nice card if you have a warrior. Raw's Disciple. I don't know what's, what's on the horizon here, but if it's Winged Dragon or Raw... I'm not super worried. <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, main phase two. Again, I'll just set this just in case. Um, just in case we do draw a warrior, we can just normal summon pop something. Like immediately we have uh, we have use and then we can draw. You can make the argument that's a bad play because we saw the lightning storm come out. But I mean, I, I think we should be fine. We could get OTK at any moment right now by Winged Dragon of Raw because if he summons Raw Disciple and then Ancient Chant and then Banish out of the Graveyard and pay life points until he has 100. Uh, we could lose here, but there's there's a lot of questionable stuff that's been happening already in this duel. So I don't know what our opponent is thinking or doing. That is so weird to do that. Why trigger them individually like that? You can summon two with one effect. He summoned one with one effect and then another with another effect. It's like professional slow playing. Let's see... So he activated double summon on us. I mean, what's he gonna summon? <laughs> you know the the yeah the gods coming out at least one. Yep. How much is he gonna pay? Twenty nine hundred because that's all he can pay, and that's that's fine actually. Yeah, I just for some reason I forgot we I, I forgot we did damage to his life points, so he can't pay as much. For a second there, I was like, oh, this thing's gonna come out seventy nine. No, it comes out at twenty nine. And now he can't use the the, ban the effect to pay life points and then uh, target and send one of our monsters because now he has 100 life points. Yeah, he can't use that effect. Uh, this thing's not protected at all. I actually just recently did it when he's going to kaiju us. I just, he just gave us a more powerful monster than, than when we... Actually, oh my god. You, you can't make this up. This... I think somebody needs to find the phone number for Konami because, I mean, we've just found our, our, our next protagonist. Uh... It's me. I have to look at this. You can't make this up. Thank you, buddy. Goodbye. Winged Dragon of Raw outed by his monster. By his monster. You can't make this up. We need to... We need Yu-Gi-Oh... What is it? Yu-Gi-Oh Yu 7s? We know Yu-Gi-Oh 8s. I'm ready. I'm ready, Konami. Call me up. That was unbelievable. What a play. There's somebody in the comments that would have been like, Why'd you set it? You couldn't activate it. Why'd you set it? Well, look. Look at that. <laughs> Why do the work when your opponent's gonna do the work for you, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking a lot. I'm talking a lot of smack right now. This is where he just like pulls out like a storming mirror for psych. We won. All right, can't wait. We already got a master pack. That was a quick, easy win. Before that, let's go look at this guy's deck. Very, very curious. All right, so this is the guy's deck. Somebody mentioned last time. Can you not make fun of the decks? I'm not gonna make fun of this deck. You know why? Because this one's actually half decent. This is interesting. So there's some bad cards in here, but overall, I actually kind of like the theme of this deck. And truthfully, if he drew Numeron Network, let's be honest, we would have lost that duel. So I don't know what was going on exactly through his head. Uh, unfortunately, the replays don't show you your opponent's cards. But generally speaking, I actually don't think this card, this deck is actually that bad of a deck. It, it was nice. It, it had us on our, on our, he had us on our toes for a few seconds there. I don't think it's a bad build. All right, so here we are. We got a Master Pack first. First, we got the Master Pack. Let's purchase one of those. Uh, it, there's no hollows. I don't really care about the hollows because honestly at this point rares are just as good as hot and there's two hollows Wow, what a lucky start. What's been going on with us? We got another evil eye card special someone evil eye monster We don't have that but now we have two evil eye cards Is this usable an Ishii? We can't summon this. We don't have uh, multiple six samurais All right, we don't have any other ninjas, so we can't do this at one with the sword don't have an X saber Degen, uh, don't have enough dinosaur reptile combination to do all that. 
This is a good card. This is a legitimately a good card. This uh, tributes some uh, dragon. He pops two cards. Legitimately good card. We don't have enough dragons to do this, but this is something we keep in the back pocket. Just like with the warrior card, this is something we keep in the back pocket because we just pulled two good dragon cards. This and that primal dragon dude. So we have we're starting to we have armed dragon level five. We have some synergy going. So this is actually a fairly good card, uh, but I don't think for our purposes at this moment it's good enough. What is that? Is that usable? Magic key, two level four monsters. Generic, 2,000 attack, any two level fours. That is good for me. Uh, let's see what this does. If this card is XYZ summon, detach one material, add one level four higher normal monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Okay, that is actually not bad because it does that and it searches. So if we for some reason pull... If I pull a normal monster, that's 2,000 attack. Like, not even 2,000. If, even if I pull a normal monster, that's like 1,700 attack, level 4, I'm playing it. And if I play that, then I'm playing this. I'm playing this regardless, because we need... This is our first monster from our extra deck that we can actually, like, summon. And then if you use a normal monster's material during the damage of this card battles an opponent's monster, same attributes as the normal monster or the magic key monster, you can detach a material from this card. Your opponent must send that monster to the graveyard. So, that actually is fairly good if we use a dark normal monster for example as material uh, we can make our opponent send a chaos max to the graveyard which we're having trouble with in this particular rank uh, it can help us out uh, for example the labyrinth monster when it's when it can't be destroyed by card effects and can't be destroyed but it can't be targeted like like this actually helps with a lot of various things which is actually quite nice this is a, a decent pull so this is a good pull and the guard dragon's a good pull and that is okay is it, it's if this card is not equipped with an equip card you take no battle damage involving this card this card is not equipped with an equip card this card is equipped with an equip card it, it cannot be destroyed by battle and your opponent takes battle damage you would have taken from battles so hmm that's interesting that is very interesting so we do have some equip cards I think we keep this in our back pocket. This isn't theoretically bad, but this isn't really good either. And this works with our warrior card, the one that you tribute, pop one, and then draw one. So we might... We have a lot of little engines getting built up in the background, which is nice. So we have this and a little warrior engine. So if we can get a few more Mekango cards, we might have something. But I'm definitely playing this, uh, the Magic Key, and Guard Dragon. I don't know if we have enough cards. I don't know if we got a Legacy Pack. I'm going to go check. I'm just The only card, like I said, I'm adding right now is the Magic Key. Uh, let me go check. I, I wasn't paying attention. Did we actually get a... Does that count as one or not? Yes. All right. So we got one of these. We got a legacy ticket. And yeah, I'm not going to believe it. Sometimes it's shiny and there's nothing inside. So, yep. They just lied to my face. Okay. What does this do? Uh, we actually do have a norm. We literally have Ojama Yellow. And there's three morons on the screen. Uh... We don't have more than one of that Ojama Yellow. Actually, not like a terrible card if we had like some link plays that we could do. So it's actually quite interesting. We literally have Ojama Yellow, so we can normal summon Ojama Yellow and then wait for our opponent's turn and we can summon two more. Like that wouldn't be that bad, but we, we have one copy. Wow, it was a hollow. A barrier statue. You can't make this stuff up, man. How does this happen to us? That is so good. Not only is it a barrier statue, it's the best barrier statue. You know why it's the best barrier statue? Because fire is the worst attribute. So automatically it's the best. That is insane. Insane. The best barrier statue we could have possibly pulled in our extreme control deck is the fire barrier statue. Let's go add some stuff. Yeah, this has been bizarre. We have been so lucky. I I, I don't know what to replace the barrier statue with, honestly. I honestly think Consecrated Light... It's crazy how this card has not come up at all. It's it's not because it hasn't come up. For, it, I, just, I just don't draw it. It's weird. Like, what do we replace the barrier statue for? Like, our deck is starting to really, like, get tight in terms of space. So I don't even know. But it definitely fits the motif of the deck. This is still playable, 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 playable. Like, what do I replace it with? I don't even know. Pluton still comes up. And this card's good with Pluton. Wow, okay. I don't even know what to replace it with. All right, let me add the other dude, too, before I forget. That guy's definitely going in there. Um, barrier statue. What do we replace it with? I, I don't want to touch the Gladiator Beast, even though this guy's stats suck. But he, he's very good in combination with the other one. Uh, because then we can basically attack and have 
pop. He's like our he's like our brick in the deck. It's kind of crazy. As, as much as bad as our deck is, we have a brick. Um, Lee the World Chalice. Oh, I know what I'm going to replace. The unexpected die for now. The expended die. Yeah, we, we replace that for now until we get more warriors that are usable. But as of right now, we just don't have enough warriors. We have like this, Karaz, and the Joan, and the Photon Crusher. But if we don't draw those, we just have... We, it's just a dead card. So for now, I think this is fine. But a barrier statue. And the best barrier statue at that. Isn't that incredible? Now all we have to do is just protect that barrier statue. Now I will say we don't have a lot of ways to protect the barrier statue. And that may be an issue. So... We'll see how that goes, but right now that's actually quite nice. All right, so we're in another game here. Uh, did they win the coin flip, or did we? They won the coin flip, and they chose for us to go second, and we drew Santa Claus plus back to the front, but back to square one. Look at this hand, man! Look at this hand. It's not a bad hand. It is not a bad hand. You know what's crazy? This hand literally outs the Sword Soul Ball board. If they make, uh, for example, if they make Baron Santa Claus. Then they make the, what is it, Shi Shao? I forget his name. I always mix the, the, the big morons up. But then we back to the square went the other one. And then their board is cleared. Yeah, there's Shi Shao. So we already have like the plays ready to go. And then we just attack over the Santa Claus. Now here's the problem. Here's the big problem. They are going to have follow-up and we're not. So it's very possible. We Like here's the problem with these games is... We actually are in it for a few seconds, and then we don't have the grind game to continue, and that's our problem. That's been our problem the entire time. It's it's We can actually break boards of decks that are so far advanced from where we are. It's actually kind of impressive and commendable. Like, like, it, like, I already see this. I am going to break this board. No matter what he does, I'm going to break... I don't care that he's playing a meta deck. I'm going to break this board. But then, I'm going to be sitting there with a Photon thr photon Crusher in defense mode, a uh, Dimension Slice, and uh, hopefully they attack us so we can use the the Speedroid Gum Prize. Like, that. that's going to be... Wow, that looks nice. That is a nice Royal Rare. I actually like this better than Baron. I like this card personally better than Baron, but I understand why you, you make... Uh, you make Baron more often. Because Baron is just more generic. So if they play like... Uh, yeah, if they play like... A, a, for example, evenly matched. You can like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna out the evenly matched with my Baron. Like if I evenly matched him, right, he just loses a monster and loses his back row. So yeah, look at this. I'm about to break this board. I am about to break this board. You know what would be awesome? If we broke his board and he just scooped. That would be awesome. And he was just like, I'm not playing. Which one do we tribute? That's a good question. I mean, it doesn't matter which one we tribute. It doesn't matter. Because this is an out for both of them. And this is an out for both of them. Isn't that incredible? It's literally, these are both outs for both of them. Like, this guy is so good, he protects from destruction. But it doesn't even matter. Because we have a out. Alright. Yes. Which one do we not want in his extra deck? Which one do they... Alright, so they usually play two of him. And they don't play two of him. Usually. So this is the one that we're going to tribute. So that's that. Oh shoot, I don't even have an out to him. And then we back to square one. This is hopefully where our opponent kind of just goes, oh, I can't, I can't do this. Um, honestly, I think Photon Thrasher is the one that we discard because he's not doing anything for us right now. And then we target the she Shao and see a chump. And then hopefully our opponent thinks we're playing Galaxy and we're going to OTK him. No, he doesn't. All right, so now we uh, set our cards and pass. And the reason we're, we're uh, leaving the gum prize in our hand is because we want our opponent to attack us, summon this, and then trigger Dimension Slice to banish a card. That's why we do that. And then Threatening Roar is obviously Threatening Roar. What does he have in his hand? Did he have his maxi? I mean, is it a maxi? Oh, yeah, this. My own card. Why don't I know that? It's my own card. But the fact that we got that far, we just broke a sword soul sword soul board with a bunch of random cards. And I don't I haven't kept track of how many packs we've opened. Can somebody do that actually? Can somebody keep track of how many packs that we opened so far? How many master packs we opened and how many legacy packs? Because it really hasn't been that much. Um, we should probably do this now, the threatening roar. But if somebody can keep track of how many packs I've opened to build this deck so far, I think that would be good. I should probably do it myself, but you know, if I if I find the time, I'll do it. Uh, this is usually where it makes Barone, which means we could activate the Threatening Roar now to prevent the attack, 
Or we could just wait for him to summon the Barone and then activate it. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, we want him to waste the Barone negate anyway. Hopefully, this is one of those Sword Soul players that just doesn't have a Barone. That would be nice. But here comes Barone, of course. Oh, shoot. Still not Barone. Man, I should have I should have activated that. Yes, he's going to burn us for 12. Um, it's fine. I, I literally have the out to this guy. In my hand. So, it's fine. Because he doesn't negate. He just... he just What does he do? Like, the, uh, if our opponent... If we uh, special summon a monster, we can banish one of those monsters, which is good against us. But then he inflicts 1,200... And then when a spell and trap card is activated, we can banish that. We literally have the out to this too. It's incredible that we're even even competing. That's what's incredible. Battle phase. I'm going to take this damage because I'm going to save the threatening roar for later. I just want to banish this. Is Prometheus even that dangerous? I mean, it is kind of dangerous again because you can't be... Uh... Which one's even more dangerous? Prometheus or Sinister? Because Sinister... Doesn't negate anything. He just banishes the trap we activate, but he does banish the monster that we summon. So I guess we just we let him attack. We let him attack, and then we activate the gun prize. And then when gun prize is summoned, we're gonna activate the dimension slice to banish this thing. He's gonna banish our gun prize because we obviously saw oh, he didn't. Wait, why didn't our thing trigger? Why didn't our card trigger? Is that because it's in damage step? Yeah, because it's in, it's at the end of damage step. I should have known. You know what's funny? I actually got that play out of the comments. Somebody was like, uh, somebody was like, oh, you can use gun prize to, to do dimension slice, but I didn't even think it through. That was in the damage step, so I couldn't do it. I should I should have known. That was my own fault. I try to be smart. All right, that's that stalls us for a little while longer. But next turn, like I said, I'm gonna end here. I'm just gonna activate the uh, threatening roar. Uh, next turn, he's gonna burn us when he threatening roars us, but it's fine. I I wouldn't have changed the way I did that play. It's fine. Yeah, I still, I still got to block an attack regardless. And I guess since I summoned him in the damage step, we both missed out. He didn't get to use the sinister, um, he didn't use the sinister effect to banish our monster because it's at the end of damage step. Um, and then we didn't get to use our card, uh, which is the dimension slice because it's at the end of damage step. Now what is cool is that we have the vanquish, uh, sword soul, we have the Vanqu Van vanquish pluton, which, awesome name still. Uh, we have this card, so we can summon this any time, and then we can trigger the Dimension Slice. This is getting out of hand. Uh, yeah, this is getting less and less winnable every 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 second here. I don't think we have a card... We don't have cards that can out this entire board, unfortunately. We do have cards that can out some parts of this board, but not everything. And at this point, it's not about winning. It's about sending a message. When this guy is still in Silver Tier in two months, we won't be. We'll be in platinum with our with our deck of random crap, but this guy will still be trying to bully new players. We won't be here. Now the question is, which one of these guys is even more dangerous for us? Because I don't even know. I'm gonna activate this. He's gonna what? Well, he's gonna banish our card, right? Yep, he's gonna do 1,200. We can activate Pluton and then banish one of these cards. Now who's the most dangerous for us? Is it Prometheus or this dude? Technically, this dude is kind of dangerous, but this is hard to out. So it's like. I don't even know which one's more dangerous. Alright, so I'll just activate the Pluton now. He can't negate Pluton because there's not anything that he can do about Pluton. This guy's actually not as dangerous as you would think he is. Again, why did I miss the timing on this? Am I doing something wrong? When a monster is special summoned to target one face-up monster. I'm doing something wrong because this card is not like triggering. I guess it has to be nothing else going on in that chain, and that's probably why I'm why I'm wrong on this one. I, I, if it said if a monster is special summoned to your side of the field, target one face up monster your opponent controls. I guess if it said that, then I can activate it if it happened any time in the chain. Uh, but the last thing that needs to happen, I think, is the Vanquish Soul Pluton. So that was a misplay on my part. Uh, nothing we can do there now. Like I said, this isn't really about... We're not going to win this duel regardless. We're just going to pass here and... Uh, yeah, this duel this duel is pretty much over. We can summon a token, but that's, what's that going to do? Actually, we summon the token. We just... Uh, we lose by we lose by token. That's what we do. So we're going to activate this. He's going to burn us for 12 when we end the game. So that'll do it. Honestly, like I said, that was a duel that was fairly competitive, all things considered, despite the deck that we're playing. Nice. We just completed a practical exam thing. All right, so here are the proficiency test thing. We just got the spell card thing, so let's see what the next thing we have to do to complete is. The clear conditions is tribute summon a monster. Our deck is still does that, so let's take a test real quick. All right, let's get these questions over with. Start, question number one. 
Which of these has a different attribute? It's water, 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 not water. So what is that? Tear Lament, Kashtira? Is that, yeah. Yeah, water, 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 water. I think so, yeah. Unless this is somehow dark. Tear Lament, Kashtira does have a different attribute. Muddy Mud Dragon. Oh, is that dark? Uh, Battery Man. Solar, because of the solar panels. Celtic Guardian. Uh, Gem Knight. With Gem Knight solo mode, the following are the opponents of the Gem Knight. Honestly, I did not pay attention. Infernoid. I'm going to say because they came out in a similar era. Yeah, that's it. Laval. And question number five. This is an insect because it's man-eating bug. But Yu-Gi-Oh is weird. Sometimes they'll, they'll have a card that's like... Uh, it'll, it'll have like dragon in its name and it's like a fairy. It's Nothing makes sense. Alright, so we just lost another coin flip. Our opponent made us go second. Um... Not a bad hand. Not a bad hand at all. all. Right? We have this card to banish. We have the Iron Dragon Tiamon. Which I finally have fully read and understand what it does. Wow, that looks cool. A Royal Rare Dictator of Deep. That looks awesome. I wonder if he's going to have like a fully Royal Rare deck. It. I mean, it's already not. This Blue Eyes is so outright. Yeah, I, on my main account, I have never pulled this Blue Eyes from the Legacy Packs. And I've had to have opened... I mean, I had to have opened four or 5,000 of the Legacy Packs on, on my main account. I've never even pulled one. We're not talking about Royal. We're just talking in general. Yeah, honestly, I don't think, I don't think we're winning this duel. I'm going to see how far he gets here, but I don't think we're winning this duel. Yeah, it's not looking very good right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not beating this deck, honestly. I'm not, I'm not beating this. Nothing we can do here. I am not beating that deck. That is too much going on already. It's, that's a Blue Eyes unaffected, and he's got all that other stuff. And then he's got the whole brand and stuff. We're not, we're not beating that. All right, so we finally won a coin flip, and it uh, that's and we decided to go first, which is just awesome. You get max seed. If only our opponent knew what we were playing. We have a insane going first hand. Just, just, just like, really insane. All light monsters. There can only be one. Parallel twister. I mean, and consecrated light. So we have Dark Monsters Prevention, uh, Light Monster Prevention, There Can Only Be One, and Parallel Twister to out a monster that they summon. That is absolutely insane. Alright, so first thing is getting Impermed. The fact that he has to waste an Imperm on, on this piece of crap is already really nice. Uh, so I'm, ha I'm happy with that. So, but he is playing a Dark deck. Okay. Um, we have the There Can Only Be One for the Labyrinth. This is like really, really good. Now the problem is we actually don't have the out to this, uh, but so far things have been things are actually quite nice for us. So one thing is the light imprisoning mirror is going to be useless against them because another labyrinths are light. But I think it's it's really interesting that I, I I cannot believe that he had the imperm for this. So obviously he's going through all of his labyrinth stuff, which is going to be annoying. Unfortunately he did have the out specifically to consecrated light, and we don't have a way to get that back. Unfortunately. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do, so I'm not going to activate this now. Now, the only thing that's worrying me is this... The only thing that is worrying me, seriously worrying me, is is this... Uh, this right here. If you activate a Welcome Lab... I'm actually going to negate this card, so... I'm going to go ahead and activate the... Well, not negate it, but Soft Negate it, right? So I'm going to activate the There Can Only Be One. And I think that we actually have a decent route to win this, honestly. So that's going to that's gonna essentially negate the big welcome labyrinth. Because you can't special summon anything. If you activate a set welcome labyrinth so it does count as welcome labyrinth. I mean that's understandable. Nothing we can really do there. So we just set this. And, and just pass here. Nothing we can really do about that. That actually kind of shocked me. We did get to negate the activating effect of it which was nice. Um, we, we got to prevent the special summon, but since the card resolved, he got to pop our card. I, I actually didn't know that Big Welcome Labyrinth also counted as regular Welcome Labyrinth. Um, that is actually quite shocking. Honestly, I, I don't think we're losing this. I don't think we're winning this duel. All right, we just uh, we just we just uh, lost the coin flip, but he made us go first. And every single time, for some reason, when we go first, we get really bad hands. Uh, but we should theoretically get better hands. We're just going to set set two pass nothing we can really do 
really kind of an awful hand. I don't know what he's playing. If he's playing Mikanko, we just scoop. Because we have nothing to really... <laughs> we have nothing to do. This hand is just like... It's just a bunch of nothingness, unfortunately for us. Oh, he's playing six samurai, but I don't know what's going on here. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, destroy the attack the destroy the monster this card attacked. Not bad. Honestly, I would like to pull that card. Santa Claus isn't out, but like it gives him it gives him stuff and it's not good for us so we're just gonna end here yeah it's just it it it, it just gives him a, a free draw and i don't want to give him that unless he summons some kind of a boss monster if he summons a boss monster then i'll then i'll do that but it, that just doesn't help right now okay we that's the the red one this is the one that they usually loop endlessly for a second there i was i was almost thinking like is this guy playing a massacre's deck too because this guy generically is actually not that bad he's gonna make the link monster or, yeah, the Link Monster. This guy actually generically isn't even that bad. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, destroyed the monster it attacked, that's really not even actually that bad. I'd play this guy if I, if we uh, pulled him. Um, and now he's going to battle Shogun. Arisen Gaia. This guy's playing quite something. I don't know what he's playing, but he's playing quite something. But he's playing six Samurais. So that we can see quite easily. We have an out to that, which is nice. It's set face down. It's going to cost us 500 life points. Yes, we have a response. We're definitely going to have an out to that. And we're going to pop it. Because we don't want any to we don't want any 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 tokens being placed on it. Or, 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 or counters or whatever it is. We don't want anything on it. So, let's just get that out of our lives as soon as we can. Hopefully, he doesn't attack our monster. Hopefully, he's like thinking to himself, like, my monster? Nope, never mind. Of course not. Never rely on a bad player to make mistakes for you. He has a thousand attack monster. He attacks me anyway. But thankfully, we, we did get rid of that. This card is actually somewhat dangerous. There's a reason it's a UR. So we're going to have to take it out. That doesn't help that much. But that actually does help with the gum prize. Uh, what does this actually do? Once per turn in the end phase, you can draw one card. This card is summoned this way. So I can't just summon it to my side. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go into the Gladiator Beast. What is he? What could he? Solemn Judgment on a Gladiator Beast. That is like unbelievably insane. Right now this card is just a thousand attack monster. So I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it on the field. Discard one destruction. Summon one Buster Blader. From the deck. What am I watching? It's like a super duper warrior deck is what this is. Because we have the Santa Claus for the uh, Buster Blader Buster Blader cosplayer over here. Man, this guy's deck is a disaster, but it doesn't matter because our hand was just so awful. We can't deal with anything right now. If we had that there can only be one in this duel, this would... this Like, he has no removal for anything. This is actually kind of interesting to watch. Why didn't we get slightly better cards against this dude? Because I need, I need him to, uh, to summon the level 5 next turn. Now we summon him. And then the next turn we can summon the arm dragon level 5. Fissure! Come on, man. What are the chances? That is so specific. That sucks. Fissure. He chose to go second, by the way. And Fissure what he was, was what he was relying on. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. That is such a great draw. That's like a Pharaoh level draw. Uh, so first things first, right? We special summon, yes. We tribute this this dude right here. And then we summon, use the evil eye to make a token. Put that in defense. And then we're going to summon the armed dragon. Yes. Some of the armed dragon. Now let me read these real quick. If you control another target one card on the field, destroy it. That's dangerous. This is not that dangerous. When he has the out on the field, I have to get rid of the out that is on the field. I just, I have to get rid of this. I don't want to. I'd rather not, him not draw, but I don't really have a choice here, unfortunately. He's going to obviously get a free draw, and he plays stuff like Fissure in his deck, but 
I'd rather get rid of a known out than a, a mysterious out. It's just, it's just, it's just better business, honestly. Like Santa Claus has been really kind of good for us, but the problem with Santa Claus, it does help you out stuff, uh, but it's not like, it's not as good as other outs, unfortunately. I hope he didn't draw anything too good with that. Each time a monster is placed one Bushido counter on this card, so that actually doesn't help that much. So hopefully, as long as this card's not that good, I think we're in we're we're in good hands here. Threatening Roar is not bad in this game state. Threatening Roar is not bad. Uh, we don't need to out this guy; he's doing nothing for us or against us. And now, what do we destroy here? This card's normal summon. Blah, blah, blah. What's his original attack? Two hundred. Okay, so he's fine then. He's he's not doing anything to anybody. I think we get rid of Mr. Mr. Bushido counters on field, dude. Because he's starting to stack up little by little here. So we get rid of Mr. Mr. Dude here. And then we go to main phase two and we have the threatening roar. This, things are starting to... Things are starting to get together for us. That's that's we'll, we'll say that he didn't draw what he needed, and that's very good for us. I think we're 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 getting in the right direction now. The problem is we don't really have an out to our own monster right now, uh, but we like this guy is the least of my worries. He's like he's got nothing right now. Two Kaigekis, two Kaigekis, level threes. He can do something. Why would he summon this in attack mode if he was going to summon this and change it to defense mode? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Amazement, double he changed the attack and defense. This just, the, the one time it doesn't come in handy. These guys have two thousand defense. This guy's twenty five hundred defense, and the one time it doesn't come in handy. Actually, now we can I guess get rid of Santa Claus. All right, let's go to battle. For whatever reason, he placed this in this in this in attack mode. So that's good. I can't believe we came back in this duel. Well, we haven't come back yet. Let's not let's not celebrate before. This guy draws like, he's going to draw like Pot of Greed into Lightning Storm and Raigeki. And then, and then, you know, Harpy's Feather, no, it's, it's Pot of Greed, Harpy's Feather Ruster and Raigeki is coming up next. Yeah, if he attacks, we win the duel. He thinks he's going to win the duel if he attacks, but in reality, we're the ones who are going to win when he declares the attack. Until he declares, I'm not activating anything. Alright, he declared the attack, we flip the Amazement Wheel. Uh, just to be clear, this is the one that changes attack and defense. Yep. Attach it to that. Uh, no. And then yes, activate the amazement wheel. And that's it. That is the game. We get another beautiful master pack. I'm very, very excited about this. That was that was a, that was an earned win. That was a lot of nonsense going on. I'm very curious about the deck. All right, we get a rank up real quick. Uh, we're in silver three. I haven't even like I haven't been even tracking the rank ups. I haven't even been tracking the free cards. And we get that. Wow, nice. So we don't get a legacy pack, but we actually got cemetery bomb. Uh, I guess we can maybe play this because it like it can end a game. Um, inflict at that 100 for every card in our opponent's graveyard. And this card uh, we don't have flame swordsman, and we're not going to be summoning it. So let's go see what we pull. All right. So first things first is the test. We claim this. We get our legacy tickets for the test. Um, and then, what's our next clear condition? Completed duel, destroy a card. We can do both of those. So let's just get this test out of the out of the uh, out of the way real quick. You only need to get three out of five questions. Should be fine. This is a lot of reading, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just guess with the lance. Nope. Yeah, that's, I'm fine with guessing that wrong. Uh, the name of this card is Unbreakable Spirit, I believe. Inspiration. All right, so we can't get any more wrong. I cannot get this right. I'm going to go with the longest one. Oof, got it. Uh, Gen X controller is in there, I believe. Yep. And the fifth question, we can't get this wrong. I'm going to say it's a nut counter based on the fact that it's a squirrel. Or a chipmunk, I should say. So, wow. Then we just clutched that out completely. Those first two threw us off, but it's all right. So we clutched it out, go back to the list. So now we just have to destroy cards and stuff and we'll get some more legacy packs. It, I, I can't believe how many duels we've won and we just got no legacy packs. And then we unlock Question, one of the coolest cards ever uh, as, a, as an icon uh, when we if we complete this test. All right, let's get our legacy pack. I'm very excited for this. Hopefully we pull something useful. There's supposed to be a super rare in here, which is nice. Doesn't always mean there is, but it's nice that, you know, it's nice to think that we have a super rare. So it's a hidden super rare okay this card is actually not bad it works for any number xyz monster whatsoever uh but we have no way to summon them right now but this actually isn't really that bad of a card. it's actually quite nice this card is actually not that bad honestly and we this is our third evil eye card so we might we have might have something going here 
Uh, the Preta plant, Trilanthus, does not help us in any way. E-emergency call is not that bad if we pull some heroes that are that matter. So this can actually be useful in the future, but not right now because I don't think we have any heroes whatsoever. Uh, Dark Lord, I don't think that's useful. It has better stats technically than some of our other cards. So some of our other cards are getting replaced only because of stats, nothing else. Uh, Common Soul is not good. Just, just it's just not good. We have. This is so unreal. Out of the, I think there's like six thousand cards in this pack. It's the Master Pack. It's every single, every single Yu-Gi-Oh card ever printed that is in Master Duel. And out of like the six thousand cards, we pull two of the exact same card in the same nine cards. That is not a bad card, actually. That is really not bad. If we draw, if we actually pull the Uriah or the Raphael or any of those, you can banish this from the graveyard and then special summon one of the big monsters from the deck, directly from the deck. So this is actually not that bad. We just have to pull one of those others, and those are basically like all boss monsters because Uriah is obviously very good. It's probably okay in our deck, but Haman is good because he's four thousand base, and Raphael is four thousand base. So. Those would be good, but like, what are the chances we pull two of the exact same card? Nothing is by. I don't think anything is usable today in this pack. But overall, I don't. I'm not unhappy with this pack, except for the fact that I got two of the same card. We almost got a play set. All right, so now we get our legacy tickets redeemed here. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get something useful. This test has been pretty fun because you know you get to complete these challenges and you get you, know, you, you in a certain degree earn it. Uh, what does this do? Uh, this doesn't help. It just looks at your opponent's spawn trap cards. Spellbook organization doesn't help. It's not even a real spellbook card. Now it's supposed to have a hollow. It just had two junk cards. Let's see here. There's like so many lights going off. It's incredible. What does this do? Key man, the key warrior. <laughs> what, a, what a funny name. Uh, 1,000 attack during during once per turn during the main phase. You can make this card level three until the end phase. Oh, thanks, buddy. That'll help. And then fog control tribute Cloudian. Okay, I don't have to read that anymore. We actually do have a Cloudian too. That's the funny thing. I think we pulled one of the fat guys. I don't know which one it was. Uh, one of Yugi's old cards, but not usable for us anymore. And I think that we play this because its stats are better than the heart cards we have now. Let's see what we get here. It's, it's nice that we're beefing up the stats. Little by little by little, we are beefing up the stats. So many light shows to just get normal cards. Uh, Telekinetic Shocker. Uh, just pay 500, destroy this card instead. He's going to be destroying himself, honestly. But he's better attack stats than our existing cards. Another Blackwing. Do we have any other Blackwing? I think we only have one other Blackwing, which was the one that can't be special summoned. If you control no cards, special summon this card from your hand. That's not bad. If your opponent controls a monster, if your opponent's monster attacks a black wing you control, the attacking monster loses, doesn't matter. Alright, so this is a free special summon. Not bad to keep in mind. And we have to do some some beef ups on our on our stats on some of our cards. This is not good because we don't have the others. And even if we did, I wouldn't play them. And this is a really bad card. Yeah. If it if, if yeah, this is very, very specific. It's like, if they summon a weak monster, we can destroy it. But, like, other than that, it, it's pretty too specific. Let's go Let's go update the deck a little bit. All right, so we're here in the deck builder. I got to check what to really get rid of. Uh, this card's not bad, but it hasn't been coming up recently, if I'm being honest. Uh, this hasn't been really coming up recently. I mean, it, it's it's really good, but it's, I mean, it's good for our purposes sometimes. So this guy, Stern Mystic, never drew him. Didn't get to play him, but he's already getting replaced. With the Kaiser Seahorse. Uh, let's see. What else needs to replace something? This needs to replace something. And he's a free special summon. But I'm on the fence about him. He's a, is he a tuner? No, he's not a tuner. He's just a special summon. But he gives us access to our to our tribute summon monsters. But he only works if we control no cards. So not even spawn trap cards. So he might not make the cut here. This is technically better than some of our cards that are in our deck right now. Let's see, what do we want to cut? Oh, yeah. Steel Swarm Man gets cut because he's only 1,500 attack. This is 1,600, but it can add itself back and it's a warrior, so it can be useful. But we're at 40 here. I think this should be this should be good. 
All right, this isn't happening. Let's, let's see what else he does. But this this is probably not. Unless he goes past, this is not happening. All right, good game. Oh, I forgot to replace this guy too. Alvius, the, the Nordic Alfair, because he's only 1,500 attack. He's going to be leaving too. My least favorite deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I think it's it. All right, so that we're, we're not winning this one. All right, we actually won that, that coin flip, which was nice. And we decided to go first. Not a bad hand, actually. Uh, definitely some playable stuff going on here. Definitely some playable stuff. We'll just set this stuff and pass here. See what our opponent's playing. Our hand isn't, like, terrible, but it's not great either. We have, like, Threatening Roar, Amazement, Sonic Chick. There's this Add a Polymerization. That's fine. Nothing we can do about that. Nice generic regular polymerization. <laughs> nice to see. Now what is he playing is, is the real curious. This can mean so many things. This can mean tier limits. This can mean... F f okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Monster with 1900 or more attack. And he has 19 exactly. So our Sonic Chick survives. Yep, it's fine. His extra deck's not even the full amount of cards. Nice to see again. Uh, we're actually getting, like, reasonable matchups today. We're not getting, like, people who are in uh, some crazy rank, 10 ranks above us. We're actually getting, like, matchups that make sense, which is nice to see. Alright, this is, uh, yeah, it's fine. We're actually, like, getting decent rank, like, decent matchups overall. I'm just going to summon Mr. Primal Dragon. Now, I have to watch out. His cards do have piercing. Uh, so Sonic Chick can become very quickly the opposite of an asset for us. Uh, this guy does no damage, but it's fine. This Gen X monster I might cut too, because his stat-wise, is he's kind of weak. Um, we do have one Gen X card in our deck, but like just generally, I don't think this is this is really worth summoning. I'd rather play any other any other monarch. So he's gonna probably add back the uh, Luster Dragon. Doesn't matter. Another fusion card. What fusion? Oh yeah, he's playing the, the the starter deck, so he's got the Lord of D, probably. Yeah, he's got the Lord of D fusion, which is actually quite a good fusion. I I used to use him back, uh, man, that was years ago. It was on in the Tag Force game. I used to use him. It was actually a lot of fun in the Tag Force game. Uh, Chaz's brothers have that deck, and it's just a blast. He's gonna get rid of our Sonic Chick. I can prevent this. No, I can't anyway. I, I can't prevent that. Why am I lying? I could have I could have prevented that before he declared the attack. Uh, but once he already declared the attack, it was too late. But honestly, Threatening Roar, I'm just going to save for later. I just think it's it's a nice chainable trap. I think I'll save it. Battle of the Elements, pretty cool. I, I This is a good card for us. Um, not immediately, but it's going to be good. I could have Tribute Summon there, but I don't think it's time for that yet. Threatening Roar. Okay, he's going to Threatening Roar us before we can Threatening Roar him. That's fine. And we're just going to pass then. Threatening Roar is fine. Yep, end of main phase. The, uh, now what is scary is if he accumulates resources, he does have the Polymerization. And if he does draw Lord of D and all that stuff, we can really uh, be in some serious trouble to attack twice. And right now he's not doing any damage, but he's just kind of... yeah. I, 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 do we save him? I, th I think we actually do use this right now. Because then we need to get in and do some damage here. So we're going to go ahead and use it on the Gen X army. And now we can go to battle phase. And I don't know what he has face down. But it could be mirror force. He could not be mirror force. I don't know. But having two. Have, and that effect I think is permanent. So we, now this guy is basically like a blackluster soldier. Hopefully he doesn't have the. He doesn't have any mass removal of, of back row. Because that will really actually hurt us right now. Of course he has that. Of course he has that. Immediately has the out to our card. The Fusion Sage, which means he already has a Polymerization. This will get him in a second Polymerization. So now we know two of his cards are Polymerization. Because he discarded Luster Dragon. Do we allow the Luster Dragon attack? I think we allow the Luster Dragon attack. It doesn't really... Yeah, this Luster Dragon is just 1900. It doesn't really... Do anything right now to hurt us, so it's fine that he attacks. 
Honestly, I'm not even going to use Vanquish Soul Man right now because he just doesn't really help anything. Unless we draw something that helps, he doesn't really come up yet. Um, that doesn't matter, see? I think we just defend our life points right now. We need to draw one of our tribute monsters. This Again, this is really not a bad matchup. This is a winnable matchup, which I'm actually quite happy about. That is so specific. Shield Crush. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Shield Crush. And this Twister's not coming up at all. Honestly, I think we just... Again, I think we just take the damage again. Because it's not... It's just 1900. It'll put us right over half the life points. So I think that's still, like... It's fine for now. Alright, we have an out to the Luster Dragon. Which is... I never thought I'd have to say that. Let's go to Battle. Attack. Hopefully he doesn't draw one of his, like, piercing monsters, because that would really suck, because he has to go to defense. And now we pass here. Not a bad little, uh, chain of events there, I gotta say. This has been, like, a really, really back-and-forth duel. Because I, I just can't believe how... This structure deck is actually not even that... Again, with this freaking Luster Dragon, I think I have to Threatening Roar this time around. Because I, I need to protect this dude. I need to protect the Photon Crusher. Yeah, I have to protect him. Like, I should be... Like, I could theoretically save it for later, but this is just... I, I need to... Next turn, I don't have an out. I, I don't have an out if I don't use that now. Oh, technically, now that I think about it, I had the out to uh, the Luster Dragon earlier because I have the Sword and Shield card here. So I could have outed it previously, but I mean, it's fine. And now we can go a little bit on offense here. Summon this out. What does he have? Torrential? No, I was about to say. He might have some sort of like protection card face down where it's like if you target a dragon, destroy the card. So I'm not going to do the goofy business where I target this time around. I'm just going to attack and then get in for some damage again. Yep, and then Gen X Alley hopefully is going to do his thing here. Silver's Cry. That is not good at all for us. That is not good. No, we don't want to replay. And now we guess we just pass. That is not good. Silver's Cry. Guess now we know what he had face down. Yeah, he needs Lord of D plus this dude. I'm trying to think what we can do to mitigate the damage. I guess now we force him to choose. Maybe he misplays and picks the wrong one somehow. Yeah, oh, nope, he picked the right one. But it's good because it outed a monster for us. But now we're back on the defensive again, which sucks for us. Uh, Pluton, do we summon Pluton? I mean, we're going to have to defend our life points anyway. So I mean, we might as well just summon Pluton now. Because if we draw a tribute monster, which we need, you know, we, we can uh, tribute it and then do something. This is like an outrageously close duel. I didn't misplay once, I'm not going to lie. I probably should have outed the one of the previous. But now that I know he has Silver's Christ face down, it doesn't, didn't matter. But I could have outed with this thing. The te the Telekinetic Soldier earlier. Iron Dragon. Yeah, that is not helpful. At the moment, it's not helpful. Because of the column placement it's not helpful if we can get one more card somehow somewhere yes we just pass here nothing we can do there he could have been useful but right now he's not only i'd summon this for some reason here i don't know why i didn't but yeah he's gonna battle phase get rid of our monster but next turn if we draw a monster we can out this luster dragon because we just put the monster here and then summon. That sword and shield card has not come up yet. <laughs> Big bang shot. Damn, man. <sighs> that sucks. Hopefully he doesn't draw a monster. This is going to really suck if we lose this one. Because we're just... This is such a close one. As long as he doesn't draw a monster, we're good. Smashing ground. Nothing we can do about it. 
Oh my god, I have the out in my hand. I'm so dumb. I just realized, I just did the math. I literally have the out right here. I have the twister and the big bang shot. I literally have the out. Tis luster dragon, but like... Why are all of these cards in these spots that they shouldn't be, man? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. We can... Set Consecrated Light right here. And then we can activate Big Bang Shot right here. And then that will allow us... Is it a quick effect? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. That will allow us to special summon the dragon out right here. Which will pop him. Now we can go to battle. And now he can't use that middle column. Or oh, our life points are very low. Our life points are very low. What we also could have done is we could have set the consecrated light. And then just... He could have attacked us with the big bang shot. And big bang shot since it's on our field. He, even though he does piercing to us. It actually gets pierced out of his life. How do they always do it man? I always have the out to everything I'm doing. It's like perfect every time. All right, that's good. We we survived for now. We got it. We got to go on offense somehow. Kaiser Seahorse. Do we risk? I mean, I don't think he has anything in his deck that is like in like normal summon stronger than Kaiser Seahorse in terms of in terms of like normal summon and end our life points because the these guys are in the graveyard. The Luster Dragons. He can draw a Luster Dragon, it's fine. He gets over it, I'll take 200 damage, but I'm talking about, he, I think he has like a special summon 3000. Of course, why have it when you can have something better? He has 8 million ways to bring back this Luster Dragon. I've been fighting Luster Dragon. This deck might as well be called, I've been, I've been battling Luster Dragon for the last like 10 minutes. It's been non-stop Luster Dragon. And our life points are getting outrageously low. And we're now we're at 900. We have 500 for Twister if we need to activate it, but our life points are really low. We need something. This does not help. That doesn't help, but screw it. We'll just put it in defense mode. But he has like he has like defense destruction or whatever it's called. Shield shield crush. He has like so many destruction cards. So much spot removal. Shield crush. Fissure. Uh, stamping destruction, smashing ground, and then he has 8 million revival cards for this one stupid luster dragon. It would be awesome if we still had the uh, big bank shot attached that he attacked. It would have been over. But we have no way to recur in this deck. No way! The goat is about to be in town. I don't think he has a lot of outs to that. Now, this, the second effect we won't be able to use because he doesn't have 2,000 li uh, higher life points than we do. But he does have higher life points, just not 2,000 higher life points. But it is nice that we have Mr. Cubic Ascension in, in route, basically. Oh, I didn't even realize. I thought that had to be a direct attack. Well, looky there. Welcome out, sir. Would you like to do that? Absolutely. Right into the back row. And now, permanently, this piece of crap can't attack. Now, the scary thing is, he can activate the Smashing Ground. What do you need for Smashing Ground? That's uh, Stamping Destruction. If you control it, Dragon, Target, and Spawn Trap, and then he can pop this. Fingers crossed he doesn't have it. Fingers super crossed. But he has so many ways to out this. His deck is like Spot Removal, the deck. I've never, It's Spot Removal and, and Special Luster Dragon, the deck. All right, end phase. Good, good, good. Good to see. Good to hear. Good to everything is good. Let's see, what do we draw? There can only be one. Very good against this deck. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so, 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 so good. All right, first things first. Let's special summon this out. We have a really good shot of winning this now. Th this this duel's like, I'm on the edge of my seat. I this is an incredible duel. 
We misplayed one time. I can honestly say we misplayed one time in this duel. I'm just going to shotgun that there can only be one. Because uh, I don't want him to tribute for a uh, for some big-ass dragon. And then and then we have no way to out it. So I'm just going to shotgun this immediately. If he has the if he has the stamping destruction, he, he beats us anyway. So it's fine. But that is... I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and shotgun that immediately. I don't want him tribute summoning anything else. So he's stuck on a monster that can't attack. Uh, its effects are negated, which doesn't matter. But, you know, now he has this on the field. So if he activates polymerization for whatever reason... It does nothing. What is he going to attack? Cubic? No. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish he attacked the cubic. He really shouldn't be putting monsters in attack mode at this moment. I'll tell him that. Back to square one is not helpful to me in any way right now, but we are surviving. So that's that's the good thing. Back to square one is... Like, I, I don't want to back to square one a single thing. I want him to stay exactly the, his board exactly the way it is. I'm going to cut it just because it keeps annoying me. Harry Knights. I'm, I have to save that for later. I can't. I can't afford to tribute this. I just can't afford to tribute it right now. Even that significant damage, we cannot afford to tribute that. That's not game. That's 900. Actually, is that 900? That's more than 900. It's 1100. I messed up the math, but he'd, he'd leave him with 700 life points. Gum prize. If I set this, he's just going to destroy it anyway. So. It's a tough one. What do I do? I just, again, I just pass. Unfortunately, I, I need a monster that can survive a Lord of D. I need just a normal summon. I need just a strong normal summon just to attack over Lord of D. He's going to set, tribute set. Next turn, this guy's a problem. Oof. Does he do piercing? No, thank God. Okay. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Okay, I think we have to use the effect. I mean, he went to defense mode. Is he really a threat if he's in... I mean, I think we have to use the effect to prevent him from attacking. Hopefully, he's not baiting us into just stamping destruction. destruction. But he, honestly, like I said, he has so much spot removal, it doesn't even matter. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Why did I forget about the Lord of D? This is unreal. I'm such a moron. Why did I do that? All right. Nothing we could do there. That's so stupid. Oh my God. Why did I forget about the Lord? That's such a misplay. Those are the misplays that hurt the most. It, it I, I knew exactly what I did wrong the second I did it. <laughs> that really, really sucks. Wow. It's going to keep me up at night. That was a terrible misplay. Right, that last misplay, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> that was just so bad. Oh my god. How did I forget about the stupid Lord of D? Uh, this guy's playing full power blue eyes, not like Mr. Luster Dragon Turbo last game. He's going to add a blue eyes and probably alternative and then or jet. And uh, we somehow always have, every time we play against blue eyes, we somehow always end up going second, and we always have Light Imprisoning Mirror going second. Always. Now, I don't even know what we really have to do in terms of outs for this. That's all he did. That's fine, then. That, that I didn't expect him to do so little. That is, like, almost nothing. So he put Blue Eyes Jet in Graveyard, and he summoned this. So Blue Eyes Jet doesn't come back if Blue Eyes isn't on the field. So I think what we do is we can put, how much attack does this have? Okay, so we activate back to square one, discard this giant monster right now, put blue eyes back on top of the deck, normal summon the red familiar, enter battle. This doesn't redirect attacks because there's nothing to redirect it to. So that gets out and then jet doesn't trigger because there's no blue eyes. And now we have Light Imprisoning and we have Amazement Thrill to get rid of stuff that we need to. I think we just pass here. I'm going to not auto-chain. I'm going to auto-chain this because if he activates a Light Effect, then I will activate Light Imprisoning Mirror. Light Imprisoning Mirror has never come up for us yet, <laughs> which, which kind of sucks, but uh, he bricked. That's good. 
it hasn't come up yet for us like we've negated he things here and there but it's it's honestly one of those cards that's on the list for getting cut uh let's see gladiator beast just normal summon attack There we go, some quick attacks in. Like I said, this is like, I don't want to activate this because the monster it summons is weak. So the uh, Light Imprisoning Mirror is just not like, it's it's not coming up as much as I would have hoped. Because there's just not as many light decks as you would think. Like this is probably the best time to play Light Imprisoning Mirror because we have so many Blue Eyes opponents. Uh, but it's really not coming up as much as I would have imagined that it would. I, I cannot believe this. He just straight up cannot play past the fact that i put the blue eyes on top of his deck the problem with him he's always got he's always one card away from beating us anyway that's a pretty good draw um let's see yeah, he's always one card away from beating us anyway i'm not going to go ahead and summon the gum prize here what does he have this is a really 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 close duel not as close as last game uh well it's actually not that close he just bricked uh, again, I don't want to do that. It's crazy that we have the out to, to a blue eyes deck theoretically, but we just don't haven't even like drawn it. Like we haven't had to use it yet. I'm just waiting for him to literally summon any light monster, use any light effect, and I just hit him with the light imprisoning mirror. Because I don't want to just shotgun it. If he summons Sage, that would be perfect. He'd never see it coming. Send one blue eyes. Target one. I cannot attack. Okay. Any blue eyes monster? That's pretty good. Why would he send that? Of all the monsters to send, why would you send that? So I guess he prevents our monster from attacking, but I mean, who cares? Why would you send that card? And the next turn, as long as he doesn't summon anything, we have familiar and we just end the game here. All right. Let's normal summon the Gen X Changer. And him plus the Light Imprisoning is pretty good. So now we just enter battle. I think we are... If this attack goes through, we just we just beat Constructed Blue Eyes. Let's see, does it go through? Shrink. That is so random. But it's alright, we'll, we'll take it. We'll, we'll lose half. That's still game if the other attack goes through. Well, it's actually not Constructed Blue Eyes. It's like semi-constructed Blue Eyes. That is good. I'll take that. Especially after that devastating loss of last game. The misplay of the Sentry. Um, yeah, we'll go take our master pack. We get two legacy tickets. Awesome. All right, time to get our master pack. It's got to be like a super master pack after the world's most devastating loss. It's a, it is a super master pack. It's an ultra master pack. We have a UR in here. It's apparently the game lied to us, but I mean, I could, I don't know. I'm not in that. I don't even, those colors mean nothing to me right now. Stats aren't bad though, for our purposes. Dragon made tidying. This is another good dragon card, actually. We're starting to build a little bit of a, a little dragon pile in the background of all this. R Gen X Overseer. This isn't bad, but we only have one other Gen X. Uh, we can't do anything with this because it requires two heroics. I mean, if if our opponent controls a monster, we can special summon it from the pendulum zone. But I don't think that really helps us. It's a hundred attack. <laughs> okay, we got uh, an SR. It's a Morphtronic card. Uh, it has a bunch of Morphtronic, Morphtronic, Morphtronic things written on it. So I don't think we can use that. Salamang Great Rage is a good card, but we only have one Salamang Great card. I remember we pulled in episode one. So other than that, we can't really use it. Now, what is this card? Fabled Valkyries. <laughs> One Fable Tuner. Rip. Can't do anything. Once per turn, discard a Fiend, draw a card. Unusable. Because we don't have the, the proper materials to summon this card. So this pack was, 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 was a dud. Let's go open the other stuff. We kind of deserve the dud after that loss. Alright, so here are our Legacy tickets. We did somewhat redeem ourselves, but... Oh, what is this? Which, why do we keep getting these like level f multi level five monsters? Gains one thousand for every. Yeah. Not a bad card, but like I don't see a summoning, and this is all like a zero attack. Come on. 
Woo! This card looks cool. Invader from another dimension. Looks like an insect to me, but it's not an insect. All right, so we've got... If we ever need to perform that ritual summon, we finally have the card for it. And Mystical Elf. A little too late. Episode 1, I would have played this, but I think it's a little too late now. All right, I didn't make any changes whatsoever to our deck. Nothing we pulled is actually, like, super useful right now. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, you know, we just our, our pulls were just kind of lackluster to say the least. So nothing, nothing we pulled can really help us at the moment. At the moment, obviously we got some generic dragon support, a little, a few more pieces for random, random areas and random decks that we have. Uh, I don't know what this guy's playing. He's got eight million mates, a bunch of sky striker stuff. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it's not labyrinth. I'll probably just scoop if it's labyrinth, but. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'll take another free pack. I'll take it. I will accept another free pack. And we rank up. Not that it matters, because I don't really care about the ranks until we rank up to a significant one. Um, let's see, what do we got? Two legacy tickets and a monster that we're not going to use. Out of curiosity, this is what our opponent was playing. He's playing a 60-card uh, shit-all pile. He would have beat us. 99% sure he would have beat us, but uh, he scooped. It's fine. All right, here's our master pack. Let's see what we get. Uh, nothing shiny, which, to be honest with you, with the kind of shiny cards we've been pulling lately, I'd rather not get anything shiny at all, to be honest with you. All of these lights. We get a UR somewhere in there. That's a good card. That is a good card. Two level four dark monsters. We have dark monsters. Level 4 Dark Mountain. We probably do. This is probably usable. Yeah, when our opponent special summons a monster, detach a material, change that to face down defense position. This is a usable card. I have to double check the attributes of stuff, but that's, this is not usable. It searches a field spell, I believe. Um, Cybernetic Overflow is a very good card, but we don't have enough cyber cards. Uh, this has stats that are okay. 15, 13, and we have other Amazonas cards already. Placed on the bottom of the deck instead. This, I probably... I actually probably, I don't know if I play this actually, it's 1500, do I play this? I might replace that Gen X card finally. Sphere Karibo is possibly playable. I'm, I'm thinking of, it changes a monster's, if, if a monster declares an attack, change the battle position. I, I, I honestly don't know that this is actually playable for us. Like it, That's not bad, it's a hand trap, but... At the same time, it just buys us a turn. I actually don't know if that's good for us. It might be good with the barrier statue that we haven't drawn yet, but I don't know yet. Is that another evil eye card? Another evil eye card. That is incredible. How many? E we have four evil eye cards now. We might build an evil eye deck eventually. This is kind of crazy. Special summon this card. This isn't a bad card either. And then a card we absolutely can never summon, which is this uh, Neo Knight. What is the UR? sprite starter <laughs> sprite starter we got sprite starter that is such a great card but we have nothing to summon off of the sprite starter yeah really good card but nothing to do with it um evil swarm we're definitely playing sphere caribou is a maybe amazonish amazoni trainee is a maybe all right bonus pack time let's see the legacy tickets what they get they didn't give us I don't know. Again, the lights. Screw the lights. Let's see what we get here. DD Evil. Uh, that is not super usable because we can't attack with it, unfortunately. Ca Marauding Captain is actually good. I think we play Marauding Caption Captain. The, the problem with Marauding... He's like a good card, but the issue with him is like... What do we get the special summon with the Marauding Captain? I guess we get to trigger the XYZ card... There's a few things that we can do, but I don't I don't know that we even play him at this moment. It would day one is an, that's another card I would have played on day one. I think our, our deck needs to be somewhat revamped, so I'm gonna look at it a little bit. Terrible deal that already sounds bad. Activate oh this is a self DK card. Yeah, this is not gonna help us. What does that do? Paying a thousand life points when your opponent activates a spell, your opponent discards a random card. It's alright. Uh, we're never going to get five lights because we just don't have currently anything. But if we build some kind of a light deck, 
Uh, this might be good. It's actually lights and it's warriors. You can banish a warrior, negate the activation, like, yeah, spell trash. So this is actually, it, it's a light warrior deck sort of thing. Uh, we do have some warrior cards going. We have some light cards going. But as of right now, I don't think this is super usable. All right, let's, let's revamp things. I'm going to take some cards out here. Consecrated Light hasn't come up as much as I would like it to have come up. Um, against a lot of decks, theoretically, it would be good. It was only like usable in one game, unfortunately. But so far, it hasn't been that good. This hasn't really come up. The Lee hasn't really come up, so I might replace the Lee. Uh, Genix Alley Changer hasn't really come up as much as I would like, so I'm going to replace it. Uh, like, he's just been kind of a monster that's been too weak to attack things so far for us, so I might have to replace him. I am going to put in the Marauding Captain and the Amazonish Trainee, because this card gains attack when it destroys a monster by battle, and it puts a monster back so that it doesn't float, uh, which would have actually helped us in a few different games. Um... And then the Owl Luck, I'm not playing. This, I'm definitely putting in. The Evil Swarm Nightmare. This, I'm probably not going to play. The Sphere Karibo. Like, I'm thinking about it. Like, is it really going to help to change one monster to defense mode? I actually don't think that it will help us. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that it does help us. And I don't see anything right now that's, like, jumping out at me to replace. Actually, this right here, the Gen X Alley. We replaced the Gen X Alley because if I take out the, the other Gen X card, then it just becomes useful useless unfortunately i might like i said i might bring back the the gen x alley man because he works with consecrated light and he works with the battle of the elements actually he doesn't work with consecrated light because um, it doesn't really help on your it only, it's only until the end phase so it doesn't really help as much as as i would think it does help theoretically with battle of the elements like he has synergy with a lot of cards in the deck but at the same time he's just kind of just a weak card um, so I guess we do have to replace him temporarily, but he'll be back uh, maybe in the future. All right, so we just lost that coin flip. It's not the end of the world. Our hand's pretty good. This, this card brings back quite a memory. <laughs> this uh, it's not a it's not actually a good hand, honestly. I wish this hand would have been really good going first. Oh, it's against labyrinth. It's always against labyrinth. Why do we draw the best hands against labyrinth? And then we just have no chance. Like that's the frustrating thing. We have no chance because it's Labyrinth every time. I mean, I guess if we just normal summon barrier statue, it, it prevents them from doing anything. So I, that's what we will do. We're going to normal summon barrier statue as soon as possible. and hope. But then again, you can just have like a, a card that bounces our monster and then and, and the barrier statue is useless. But yeah, Welcome, he can't activate. He can activate Big Welcome Labyrinth. That doesn't matter whatsoever because our cards are unplayable <laughs> anyway. So our great I don't think we have any graveyard plays this entire entire time we have an uh, imperm. Okay, that does something. See, imperm actually does something. Now, why he activated all of that? Why is he activating every single card without even thinking? That I I don't okay I I don't know I don't know what that was about I'll take my pack I have I can't explain what just happened all right let's see if we get any legacy tickets out of that okay yeah we do get two legacy tickets this has been an absolute breeze the second half of this yeah after that devastating loss we've just been on like a a, a run here of consecutive wins uh, this is a super rare from what it shows but again doesn't matter let's see here trickstar bouquet. It needs a Trickstar card. We don't have any right now. Is this generic? Not really. It needs Cybers. I don't think we have enough. Rux Rose is a good card, but I don't think that we have anything to search. So, as of right now, I don't think it's usable. Dark Resonator is good. Yep, that's actually a good card. I don't know if we need more monsters like it, but I think this is actually better than Sonic Chick, technically speaking. We probably will replace the Sonic Chick. Is this generic? Please be generic. Nope. Dinosaur Tuner. Don't have any that I remember right now. Equipped to a Mermel card. That says everything we need. D Tactics. Hero Monsters. Don't have any. And Solar Recharge. As good of a card as this is, don't have any Light Swords at all whatsoever. So the only playable card we have here is the Dark Resonator. Alright, so now we have two Legacy Tickets. Both of them are glowing. 
they've glown so much and haven't meant anything so it doesn't matter anything power frame this card is actually somewhat playable honestly power frame it's actually not bad it gains attack equal to the difference so it it makes it e like the same yeah it's not bad i might play that legendary fiend gains 700 during the standby phases if we can protect him he can he can be a pretty good card but he comes out at such a weak attack that it might be a problem 1500 is really really weak uh but I mean, he can obviously kind of like build himself up after a little while during your standby phase too. So we'd have to protect him and then protect him again. I I don't I don't know if that's going to be possible. I mean, we can try, but I don't I don't think that's possible. We can tri uh, replace one of our existing tribute monsters, Destruction Dragon. We can't summon, and this is not useful at this point. So let's go see what we replace. All right. So out of the cards we just pulled, we might as well put the Destruction Dragon in. Same thing with this thing. It doesn't matter. Uh, this power frame is actually not bad, but I don't even know what to replace it with. None of our spawn trap cards are like, at this point, really that bad. And we need more spawn trap cards. So I'm probably going to replace a monster if I'm being honest. Honestly, I'm going to take out this Dark Lord for now, for now. And then I'm going to see how this deck plays with just that. This, this is another one I might play. I might replace this for the Consecrated Light because Consecrated Light really hasn't come up yet. But I mean, it hasn't really had a chance to really shine yet. I guess we'll see. All right, so here we've got another game. We actually won the coin flip. Damn, that's good. We won the coin flip and we chose to go first. All right, so we're just going to set this. Set the there can only be one. Set the threatening. We set everything except for the parallel twister and we just pass. But God damn, that's a good hand. As one of the, com one of the comments told me, hey, start going first. It's a good thing you told me that made a difference <laughs> especially against certain decks it's really made a difference i don't know what this guy's playing but if there can only be one is it doesn't matter because he's going to set a monster and pass <laughs> yep we don't need to activate that right now it doesn't really benefit us in any way two amazement cards so we have the sword and shield and we have banish until the end phase uh nothing we have on the field really uh we don't have it's crazy. Some duels we open like all monsters, and sometimes we open all spawn trap cards. Damn it, that's not good. Dragons. What would he summon? Probably like blue eyes. Yeah, regular blue eyes. That's fine. We play against a lot of blue eyes in this tier. Why didn't I set this? That doesn't matter. Doesn't make a difference at this moment. We probably should have just summoned the other gladiator beast. I don't know why we didn't. We're just gonna we're gonna shotgun this immediately. We should have summoned the other gladiator beast in defense mode just to protect our life points and then have the better one in our deck and the junk one on the field. That's what we should have done. Uh, obviously, the effect's not gonna trigger regardless, but it just would have been just a better better play overall. So it sucks now if we if we end up drawing the uh, the bad one and we take thirteen hundred life points for absolutely no reason. See, those are like the little misplays that are like infuriating where they really they like it's like we're taking 1300 damage but like it's gonna come up later or we're gonna draw the monster that's really bad like one of those two things is gonna happen and they're just, it's just gonna come up later somehow all right let's see what we draw big bang shot doesn't help us right now i mean actually we can out the blue eyes with the big bang shot if we wanted to this lets me destroy one card on the field yeah, why not? Let's out the blue eyes. Obviously, you can summon another blue eyes, but... I guess we have other things for that. So we send that to the graveyard, and then we can pop this face down card. It's like our classic play. Oh, nice. And then we had a silver scry, so I guess that blue eyes is banished. You can't even use it. He's one harpy's feather duster away from essentially winning the duel here, but, I mean, we have to do what we have to do. This deck's been, like, insane in terms of, like, it's it's become, like, a pretty s serious control deck at this point. Like, we have a lot of, con here we go, Luster Dragon. I told you, I told you, I told you that that stupid 1300 was going to come in handy with this Luster Dragon guy. Imagine this is the same Luster Dragon guy. All right, do we take this damage or do we uh, get rid of him until the, I think we take the damage, although it's going to somehow come up later where that, this, this, 1900 damage is going to be the difference maker but i think for now we just leave it 
All right, we need to draw a monster. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. We'll take that. That is, that does the job. He doesn't do any damage, but I mean, he the difference in life points is a hundred, so it doesn't matter. I don't know. Like this deck is so weird to play against because it's like you have to be like you have to be extra careful of your life points because every time I've lost to this deck, it's it's because I haven't been careful or mindful of the life points, and I just I'm just like willy nilly. Oh, I'll let this attack go through. I'll let this attack go through, even though I have all of the outs the entire time, and then before I know it, I'm like I've got like no life points left. This freaking luster dragon turbo stuff is just so annoying. Oh, he's gonna bring that. That's smart. Yeah, that's smart. I'm not even mad. That's smart. I mean, then again, he has to, you know, I have to attack it for him to get a blue eyes. If I had a way to banish it, I'd rather do that. He can link Karibo too. I don't know if he has it. How big is his extra deck? 15 cards. I, I you know, hopefully he has, a, he has a link Karibo. For his sake, anyway. Yeah, end of main phase. Yep, end phase, whatever, whatever. I don't think I'm going to attack this, though. I'd rather... He's, he's stuck on a monster right now. I'm just going to build up... I'm going to... He's stuck on the one dragon, so I'm just going to build up uh, resource. I'm actually switching this to defense, because this defense and its attack are equal anyway. Might as well put it in defense mode, and I'm going to let him... I'm, I'm going to let him build up on resources. I'm going to let myself build up on resources, is what I, what I meant to say. And then, obviously, he's got a lot going on here. And that could be pretty much anything. This is where we get, uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get some. That's not a bad card either. I'm not going to set it because our back row is 99% full to capacity. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, but that's not bad to see. It's unfortunate that we have this, this, uh, this magic key card. But he's just useless right now because we have nothing to search. This is useless. I'm going to actually probably take out some of these useless ones so that they don't. They don't even get in the way in terms of like me looking at them. I just kind of put them in there, in there to, to have finally a full extra deck. We finally actually have a 100% full extra deck. It's not fully usable, but it's fully full. He's going to set the monster. He's going to be able to special summon in the end phase. It's a smart play. And now he can somewhat go on offense here. Because he can summon a, a blue eyes or a dragon of some kind. But we do have the, the power frame. Which can help us um, deal with the with the blue eyes. It seems like the regular structure deck, but with blue eyes in it. All right, that doesn't really help anything right now. I'm gonna switch this to attack and then set power frame and then hopefully we bait him into attacking. Yep, power frame. Actually, you know what? I should have done that for this dude. <laughs> I should have made Sand Moth more attack because this doesn't do any damage. Uh, Vanquish, Soul, Pluton doesn't help us. Yeah, Wheel to switch the attack of Blue Eyes. Yep, Blue Eyes. Switch that up. Yeah, we can get over Blue Eyes. Finally. Okay, we can't really like, get ahead because this guy does no battle damage. Yeah, I really should have uh, used the Sand sand Moth and made Sand Moth gain 2,000 attack. And then we would have just left this guy as a 2,000 attacker. And this guy would have actually done damage. But unfortunately, I put it on the wrong card. Well, I guess I would have protected my life points regardless with the Dragon, Primordial Dragon. I, I still wonder what this is. This and then he adds back blue eyes. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, go ahead. We still have Threatening Roar. I forgot all about it. We have Threatening Roar and the Amazement Trail. Like, we have so many resources. Lord of D. I, this, this situation is giving me PTSD. Oh my god. Flute of Summoning Dragons. How does this work? Special Summon 2. Must. Must be on the field to activate and and resolve this effect so if i banish it then it does not happen but uh, 
This has this activates, I believe, in two separate chains. So it wouldn't work anyway. I think this activates in two separate chains, so it would would not help us, honestly. That's the problem with this card. I would have already had to have known that he was going to do this, and obviously, I I would have never known that he had that he was going to do this. Solid dragon, solid dragon. Come on, dude. You could do better than solid dragon. <laughs> negate its effects. That's a permanent negate. That is a permanent negate. But he's going to have to send something to the graveyard because there can only be one is on the field. Now the question is, is it, does he crash? Yeah, he crashes. Which is fine. It's completely fine. And acceptable. And he's going to take 800. Finally, we get some damage on board. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks that this card works that way. You have to one one chain is, I believe, to equip, and the second chain is to activate the effect. So you can't like activate both in one chain, as far as I know. But okay, let me see. I think we summon this out. I don't know how much defense this has. This has to have a decent amount of defense. No, we just we just go to battle. I'm still very curious about what this face down card is like what could it be because i know it's some kind of a big dragon I, I mean i think it's like the piercing dude he had the chaos max sleeve chaos max is the end of the world piercing dude is is whatever this guy can only attack dragons what a weird card <laughs> he can only attack dragon monsters it's so specific. Why does why does this guy exist? <laughs> Anybody explain Galaxy Dragon to me? He can only attack dragons. Does he not know that? Did I read that wrong? This card cannot attack directly and can only attack dragons. I have no dragon. All right, so I'm gonna make his monster send himself to the graveyard. Uh, I think I'm gonna save the Kar Do I save Karaz? Do I save Karaz for later? I probably save Karaz for later because I have other. He's he's good removal, so. I'm going to make him out his own monster. I'm fairly sure this is a dragon. So. I don't know how much defense this has. That's the only that's the only like issue here. So we have a few plays. We can attack this. And then there can only be one will go into effect. And I have to send this to the graveyard. Or keep this. So we'll just we'll go to battle. And attack this. Yep, we'll take damage, it's fine. And then he has to send something to the graveyard. Okay, that's fine. And uh, now he's just stuck on that monster that can't attack and is a dragon. So, main phase, don't need to set anything, we'll just end here. Marauding Captain has not come up nearly as much as I thought he would, but it's it's not the end. Again, it's not, it's not that he's bad. I should have just set him, just put some monsters on board. He's kind of just stuck on this galaxy dragon. This is such a like nerfed card it's it's almost unbelievable all right let's see if we draw something that's useful amazonist queen is actually fairly useful yeah that's useful for sure uh she's a warrior so we can't summon marauding captain or karaz after we summon her but she can't be destroyed by battle so that can be really really useful for us later so i'm gonna go ahead and tribute this Summon her out, and she can't be destroyed by blue eyes, which is, again, pretty nice. Go to battle. Uh, first, I'm going to attack this, because it's most likely a dragon. And if this flips, it'll the this will go into effect, and it'll make... Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, it's really not good, but, I mean, we technically have the out. Why did I attack that, when I could have just left that on the board, and then he wouldn't have been able to summon anything? Why did I attack that? Why in the world did I attack that? <laughs> Sometimes I make misplays and then like three seconds later I'm like, why did I do that? I guess we hope he doesn't play another blue eyes, but knowing him, he's probably playing another blue eyes. But I mean, we've got protection. We've got threatening roar. We've got plenty of stuff. So I guess if he gets his blue eyes out of his deck, it's whatever. We would have had to deal with it eventually. We should have just let, we should have just left that stupid dragon on the field and not let him do any of this, but it's fine. He's going to be able to add the ritual stuff. We actually have a route where I think we can win here, possibly. Like, why in the world we attacked the... Why we attacked this Galaxy Dragon is, is mind-numbing to me. Sometimes I, like, I click something and I and, like, a second later I'm like, why did I do that? I knew the right play, didn't do it. Okay, thank God he added the Polymerization. Chaos Max is the real, like, scary card. 
But as long as he's stuck on some kind of a dragon, it doesn't really matter to us. And now he's stuck on Abyss, which is a lot better than getting stuck on one of the worst cards I've ever read, Galaxy Dragon. Like, I have no idea why this card exists. Like, that's how... That's how unbelievable this card is. Like, in what world is this good? When it battles the dragon, it's like the best card ever. But when it battles anybody else, it's just useless. Now, I could technically... Actually, thank God he attacked that. I just take 100 life points, and then that stays on the field. That's good for me. It's like non-stop. He just has big monster after big monster after big monster. It's like every monster is so, so much attack. We had... The perfect card, the Galaxy Dragon, and then he... It was like a floodgate on his board, and then we, we outed it for him. Damn, he does play Chaos Max. That is not good. We need to figure out a way to win. Is that for big Jar of the Forbidden? Pot of the Forbidden? Dimension Slice. That's not bad at all. Um, yeah, we don't have an out against Chaos Max, so... We need to be very, very careful of the Chaos Max. We put this stuff in defense mode, but we literally don't have an out to Chaos Max. We need we need a win here. Why is he even playing Chaos Max? That came out of nowhere. Now we're all, now we're, now we got to stress about all this dumb crap. We literally had the game wrapped up in a bow for us. We had everything ready to go, good to go, finished and done. And we, we, we helped him. We gave him this guy who searches cards every end phase. Um, again, we just don't have the, the resources right now to end the duel. So it doesn't really help us to, to save this dude because he's not going to help us with anything. Like we have threatening war still, but he's not going to really do anything for us. So I think we just let it through. He's just going to attack the same monster. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't stop that. Yeah, end phase, he's going to be able to search. This guy searches every single end phase. He's going to search it out his whole day. We might deck him out. He's got this back row still. We don't even know what the back row is. Could be mirror forces. Who knows what the back row is. He could have some of the most broken back row. Now it's parry knights. It's not about... Is that another warrior, by the way? Why are we drawing every warrior in our deck right now when we have there can only be one on the field? Literally every warrior has to be here right now. I mean, I guess we can just set this. He's attacking the other card, so... Why not? We'll just set it. We have to build something up, and then just... Our, so the play we have to make is we just have to build some stuff up, and then use the... And then just use the Amazement. Banish this until the end phase, and just attack for game. That's, 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 our, our, that's hopefully our winning play. And hopefully he keeps attacking this Amazon as queen. Yeah, uh, that wasn't going to last long. Another warrior. You've got to be kidding me. Like, this is the most, like, what are the chances? If I knew we were going to draw these warriors, I would have played that unexpected die card. How are we drawing every warrior in our deck right now? Every single warrior. Because we have there can only be one up. It's like warriors versus dragons. Stamping destruction. That's not good. That is not good. He finally drew the out. Hopefully he has no way to summon Chaos Max. If he does that, then we lose. I mean, we still have Threatening Roar, but we don't have an out to Chaos Max. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing we could do. Man, this is just... This situation just sucked. And it's like, we did this to ourselves. We really did. That's the most frustrating part of it all. We, we did all this. Now, the question again is, does he have Chaos Max? Because if he has Chaos Max, then... You know, this this is this goes bad very quickly for us. Polymerization. What could he possibly fuse? I guess Tyrant Dragon, maybe? If he has it, I don't know if he does, but Tyrant Dragon, maybe? This deck is very odd, by the way. But at least now we can we can do Karaz plays, and we slowed him down a lot. He slowed us down. Like, there's been a lot of back and forth. Yeah, I'm very curious as to what he even fusion summons right here. Does he have enough for the Blue Eyes Ultimate? Wow, that's a lot of dragon. It's a five-headed dragon. Yep, five-headed dragon. This is like an anime duel moment. That doesn't have an animation. That's a crime. The crazy thing is, it doesn't even matter that he summoned it. <laughs> Can I be destroyed by battle by any of those attributes? Irrelevant. He still can't get over the Amazonas Queen. 
He can gain as much attack as he wants because he still can't get over the Amazonas Queen. Honestly, I think we just negate his attack and then we activate Karaz. Yeah, we prevent him from attacking, we activate Karaz and we pop both his cards. I honestly think that's the play. So I think, yeah, we just use Karaz, normal summon, pop, pop, let him draw. Most of his cards are like in the graveyard at this point, including Chaos Max Dragon. So I'm not as worried. So as long as he can't summon Chaos Mag, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we just tribute. Yes, summon. Unfortunately, we do give him resources, like I said. But it's not the end of the world. Um, yes. Do we pop our own cards? What do we have here? Dimension, Slice, and Amazement. I think those will come in handy later, so we might as well just pop his cards draw let him draw two cards and then we can get in for some damage real quick like i said most of his good cards are in the graveyard so that is at least nice like he's got most of his blue eyes and stuff in the graveyard and he's already gone through two stones hopefully he draws he draws mr uh galaxy dragon here that i cannot believe i outed for him man what does he still have Please don't tell me he has Chaos Max Dragon. Please don't tell me he has another Chaos Max Dragon. Yeah, if he summons that, we just lose. Alright, Galaxy Photon, okay. That's it? Okay, 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 I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am okay with, I'm a-okay with that. Alright, I think this might be the end of the game. That is... Slight misplay in there, but I think this might be the... That's enough on board to a game, so I'm not going to go ahead and normal summon into Torrential or anything crazy. Okay, that is uh, that is a well-earned win. Amazon has definitely came in handy. This is definitely going to be the last duel of the game. Of the... Of the, of the this is the last duel of today. I'm going to go open that pack. This is definitely going to be the last duel for today. Let me go get our pack. We're in Silver 1 officially. Moving up the ranks. Do we get any extra packs? Oh, we got Butcher. I'm not playing the Butcher. And we have the Practical Exam. And we have two packs. That was a well-earned win. Uh, let's go get some packs. Okay, so we got our question uh, mate. Or our question thing there. And then we got... Actually, we didn't get anything. We just got the question thing. So we didn't get any packs additionally for that. But what's the next clear condition? Special Summon a Monster. So that will be things that we do next time. All right. So, Master Pack. Hopefully, this is something good because we definitely need one after what we've been getting today. There's a hollow in it. We don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. At this point, we just need anything good. Two hollows, theoretically. All right, this is not useful. Uh, Vampire Genesis, we don't have Vampire Lord. Uh, we don't have any of the rituals. Super Quantum White Layer, is that useful? All right, this is not useful. Wow. We just had a random... A totally random super rare hiding underneath this is actually a very good card uh, but our deck doesn't banish at all we'd have to be relying on our opponent's deck banishing um, I don't think this is a bad card like I said it's just it we not yet but it, it could very well come back to us uh, we now have a mermil card mermil card for the thing from earlier it doesn't really help us but it has better attack stats than some of the other cards we have numeranius this is a win condition that is almost impossible to get. I, I just, this card might as well be nothing. This card should have been a monster. This card could have been a normal monster with 100 attack. I am never going to summon this card. That is just, it's just, it's just useless. And then we've got the drag goodies. All right, so this is actually not bad. It has a search effect uh, for warriors or spellcasters, which is pretty good. And then on top of that, it has like uh, an effect to cut your opponent's attack and defense. So I'm definitely playing this card. This card is actually the best card we pulled out of this entire uh, this entire set. Technically, Branded Regained is better, but we can't use it. Why? This is just so unusable. I don't even know why we got that. All right. Now for the last thing open today, we got some Legacy Packs. Um, let's see what we get. I'm, so, I'm okay. I'm not even super excited about these. Uh, this card is foolish. I used to have this as a kid. Uh, this is actually a pretty good card. I'm probably, I'm actually going to play this because if it, yeah, it's changed to defense mode and then it can't change back, but it's, it's essentially like goblin attack force with, I believe 100 more attack. This card is just not bad. It can get over things. I think we play this card and then one more card or two more cards. Let's see what they are. 
Hyper Hammerhead is actually a pretty good card. I think we probably play this at the end of the damage step of this card battle. Return that monster to the hand. That can essentially out anything non-targeting. This can actually out Chaos Max. Of all the cards that we come up with, that actually outs Chaos Max. What does this do? Um, so this card is a bit weak. It just makes you gain... Yeah, with if you send a monster with a thousand less attack, your, your monster can gain that attack. It's not good enough. But the Hyper Hammerhead we are playing. So... Uh, this has been the end of the episode. I'm super excited about uh, the cards we just pulled, at least some of them. The Hyper Hammerhead, the Indomitable Warrior, and the uh, Dragonius Girl. Three really good pulls at the end. Uh, a lot of goofy pulls today, but overall, I think some of the duels were really, really fun. So if you enjoy this, definitely like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great day, guys. La, 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 la.